What's going on guys? So today we're going to look at the Govi lights for behind the dresser and behind the TV. I got the TV version as a regular 16 foot roll. So let's get right into it. All right guys, hopefully the lighting's good and everything and the sound quality is good for y'all. Um, let's go ahead and break these boxes open if I can figure out how to do it. This is going to be the TV version, all right? All right. So, of course, there's the light strip. All the necessary paperwork. All right, and here's the cables. Comes with some mounting hardware if you want to nail it to something. Uh, there's the manual way of doing it if you don't Bluetooth it. Of course, it's got USB. So I can hook it right into the TV if I want. This should be the brick. We've got too big of fingers for this. Uh, there's the plug, of course. So here's the other set. This is a 16 and a half foot, or 16 point something, whatever. Here's the strip for that. I'll set it over here. All the necessary paperwork to go with it. And pretty much the same stuff. The wall plug, the little mounts we want need. Oh, alcohol prep so you can clear, clean the surface. Plug, all that good stuff. So hey, there it all is, all laid out. Let's go ahead and get this TV off the wall and everything moved so we can hook all this up. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've got the TV off the wall. I've got the dresser moved so I can... Get the lights on there. I had to get the ladder out to help out with unplugging everything. Over here you see I've got the TV off. And uh, I decided to mount the um, manual control over here. It'll be off the wall, out of the way. Tied them up tight right here. Got it ran down to the USB. Um, so now all i got to do is run the lights. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get the lights out, see if I can figure out where I want all these to go. And they're already actually pre-sectioned off for me. That's pretty nice. With the other lights, you either have to do, uh, most LEDs, you have to do like a loop in the corner or just get it really close and uh, pretty much clip it off. Not clip it off, I'm sorry. Um, most people, what they'll do in the corners is they kind of take them and either you just kind of do like that as best you can, hope the 3M holds. And some people actually do some kind of loop with it like that. They'll loop the end. Well, what this does, it creates a hot spot behind your uh, TV and it won't look exactly, it'll be brighter right in the corners of everywhere you do it instead of even throughout the whole way. Now, all mine are done more like this and all of them look pretty good. I don't, I don't have any complaints. I never really noticed. I learned this as a tip watching some of these YouTube channels. So, uh, yeah, I like this. This is what it looks like. That's the new corner. So it can just be set there and have this and it'll be flush and that'll be the edge. So it's gonna look like that on the corner. That's not bad. I like that, especially for the price point, you know, compared to Philips Hero LifeX. So let's get these on, see what it looks like. All right guys, so let's get a closer look at the TV. Let me bring you in here, try not to shake you or anything. Basically this is what we've got. We've got the LEDs on three sides here, over the top, down the side. Let me just try this. Let's see, up top, strip there, strip down the side. Now this part is on the wall, so I'm not going to take a risk. If the last little strip, you could just pull that piece out. It's off to the side. So this looks good. It's ready to go, ready to hook up, get back on the wall, and we can get onto the dresser uh, and see how everything looks. I mean, it's daylight right now, but I've got blackout curtains, so that should help out some with seeing how it looks. But, uh, yeah, pretty easy so far, so let's keep going. All right, guys, now this one, I'm going to go ahead and capture everything I do. Uh, now, of course, I've got, I've got my stuff set up over here. Uh, it's plugged in. I've got the wire ran under the baseboard. I've got it tucked away for that one. Not, you don't really have to do it. It's behind this thing, but I just like it clean like that. Got my wires ready to go to hook up my LED stripping. I'm going to go ahead and record all of this so if you want to see the whole process. Uh, of it, it's really simple, but you can watch. If you don't, uh, fast forward a little bit and we'll get to the end where you can see more of the finished product than what I'm doing right now because this might still take a minute or two 
even though it's easy. So here on this end, that's the hookup. That's what's going to go into this base, and then we're just going to pull peel tape and start running. So here's that piece I was talking about. We're going to hook them together. Let me see, we got light. Of course, you can scroll through the settings. Pretty neat. I don't know why you put this silver piece here. Stop it. I love your lights, but dang, this, this, this right here. Say I'm trying to make videos and promote your product. People are watching this, getting irritated, going, man, I could be doing anything else watching this guy right here try to rip this silver piece off of this LED strip. And it wasn't on the first one I did, just this one. The last two, this one and the one on the TV. All right, back in business. Should look good behind that with everything turned out. So uh, let me go ahead and back this up and uh, we'll catch you, I guess, at the end. All right, guys, hope there's enough light to see me right now. Got these set up. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the USB port, of course, is you have to have the TV on to turn the lights on for the back, back of the TV. So I'm gonna need to get an extra little plug thing up for the top, because right now, direct TV plugged in and the TV, and well, you know, if you've got the TV on, it kind of takes away from the lights, unless you're watching a movie. But if you just want the lights on without it, you can't plug it into the USB. You're going to have to plug it into the wall. So I'll get a plug for that because I like having the option of both. But uh, overall, it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off so you can get a look. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. There you go. Looks great. Really like how that turned out. Let's see if I can... Ease y'all around. Looks good. Yeah, buddy. One more quick look there. A little ambiance, if you will. Alexa, turn the lights. Okay. Get some more light back in here now. So that's it, y'all. Hey, I like these Gobi lights, man. Uh, check them out. There's an app, too, that you can get the Gobi app. You can Bluetooth, so you can control these things from your phone. Of course, I have the manuals behind here. Uh, I guess I could show you real quick. Go back here to the manual thing. Of course, you can change colors. You can change modes. So it'll do different things. That's the sound-activated one makes noise with the sound more sound activated pretty cool thanks of course I can turn it off and back here turn it back on flip through different modes it's got plenty of modes on it um, of course you can operate from your phone it's music activated so I can turn the music on it'll dance to it all those good things you don't want to see that hold on one second all right, we're going to see if Alexa will catch it. As you can see, it's making some music noises now, so let's do the music thing. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Alexa, play it, make it to heaven. Here's Make It to Heaven by David Guetta, Morton, featuring Ray on Amazon Music. You can see it dancing. If you take one That's pretty legit, Alexa. Stop. Alexa, turn the lights on. Okay. It's pretty sweet, right? Sound reactive. It's got different modes that it can play on its own. Solid colors. 
Love Go V lights. Y'all need to pick some up. I mean, they're only like 20 bucks. I'm going to leave them linked down below for y'all so you can see the exact ones I bought. You can pick them up too. Um, they have a million different types. They've got the dream color. Look for it. It's the one that can do the chasing and stuff. And those are great for maybe under your couch or under your uh, cabinets, under your bar. I've got lights all over the place. I'm going to do some LED ideas for around the house of where these can go. As you can see, they're still dancing behind me. So uh, get ready to check on that one. Subscribe so you can get updated for when those come out. I'm going to try to get them out as soon as I can. I love doing this stuff. I love LED lights, RGB, anything. It makes me happy. So hey, click that subscribe button so you can get some more of this stuff. I'll do some more ideas of how to do this, how to set it up. And hey, y'all have a good one. Out!